Hello, this is Dr. James Camp, and this is the latest in Camp's C++ quickies. Um, we're going to look today at the numerical types in C++. Um, last time with our Hello program, we introduced the string type and the car or character type. A character can hold any kind of printable character, such as a lowercase a, or a capital A, or a numeral two, or a dollar sign, uh, or a question mark, any, you know, any, any printable character, any character you could type on your keyboard. Uh, note that you can only hold one at a time in a character variable, and that you define what character equals um, you, you assign a value to a character variable uh, or test for a, a value for a character variable using uh, single quotes. Okay, whereas with a string we use double quotes. A string essentially holds a sequence of characters. Okay, um, You know, a, B, C, or one, two, three. Um, if you wanted to store somebody's phone number, you could store uh, eight, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, as a string. And it's not storing the numbers; it's storing the characters that represent those numbers in uh, in a string. Okay. Um, but what if we want to handle some numbers? What if we want to store and manipulate actual numbers? Um, we can expand our hello program to ask um, what is your favorite number. Okay. Um, and then, of course, we'd want to have a value that stored that number. Now, we could make a string and store their favorite number as a string. It's just a sequence of, of numerical characters. But what if we wanted to do a little math with it, do a, a fun little trick with math trick with their numbers. So, um, there are two types of numerical values um, so your fave number might be an integer type which is 0, 1, 2, dot, dot, dot uh, 42, 125, 3,124,567. Uh, any, any whole number that doesn't have any decimals, um, negative 5, uh, negative 321, you know. Um, any of those numbers is an integer, as long as it doesn't have a decimal point and anything after the decimal point. So we're going to assume that the person's favorite number is not 3.1. Okay, we're going to assume that it's a, a whole number here. Um, so we'll see in your fave number and then we'll do a little simple math with that. We'll say um, yeah, my fave number uh, equals your fave number times two minus three divided by four. Or how about we switch there and times four minus three 
divided by two. Okay. Um, then we can say C out That's great. I like the number. My fave number. Okay. Now let's see how this little conversation goes. Please type your name. I'll call myself Jimbo today. What is your favorite letter? J. What is your favorite number? 42. No, 7. We'll go with 7. That's great. I like the number 27. Okay. Because 7 times 4 is uh, 7 times 4 is um, 28, yeah. Um, okay, so we see a little problem with our, our math here. Um, order of operations, it, it subtracted 3 divided by 2 instead of subtracting 3 and dividing by 2. So we'll have a later video where we talk about arithmetic and C++, but Let's run this again real quick. Okay. Please type your name. James, what's your favorite letter? Q, what's your favorite number? Seven. There we go. That's more like what I was expecting. Seven times four is 28 minus 3 is, of course, 25, divided by 2 is 12. Now you may ask, why is that divided by 2 12 and not 12 and a half? Uh, and the answer is that we're doing all of this math with integer numbers. Hence, okay. There's another kind called a floating point number. Okay going to take my int comment and stick that here. A floating point number is 1.0, 3.14, negative 23.45, um, 1.21 e 9 okay that's a way of saying scientific notation for times 10 to the ninth um, 1.01 e negative 9 it's a very small number okay times 10 to the negative 9 so I can change this to what is your favorite number, decimal number, maybe. Okay, and now I take float my fave number is your fave number. Okay, so if we run this again, James, your favorite letter is D favorite decimal number is 3.7 and this time we got 5.9 and if you work those numbers out 3.7 times 4 minus 3 divided by 2 comes out with, uh, with 5.9 okay now there's a problem with floating point numbers okay I change this around to being a sub divided by 3, uh, 
Okay. 1.1, we get 0.8. 1.1 1 .1 times 4 is 4.4 4 minus 2 is 2.4. So that actually works out to being exactly divisible by 3. So I picked a bad example. Okay, there we go. Now here we get this negative 0.53333. Okay. Um, and if I told it to output that number to a very high precision, we'd see that there were some rounding errors. Because floating point numbers do not have a very high precision. Um, so, in general, we don't use floats. Okay, we do not use floats for engineering purposes. Okay, int my int, float my float. Um, we use what's called a double precision a double precision floating point number. And double precision floating point numbers still have rounding errors in them. Okay, they still don't go out forever, but they go out for over twice as long as the floating point numbers. So um, if you're doing any kind of engineering calculations, which is of course what this class is about, um, you want to be sure to use doubles instead of floats. Okay. Um, All right, so that's all we're going to talk about with the um, numerical types today, and we'll get on to um, doing math in the next video.